Welcome back. Today we will solve problem 12-43 and this problem is taken from chapter number 12 deflection of beam and shaft and book name is mechanics of material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is determine the equation of elastic curve EI is constant. So you can see this beam there is a pin support at point A and there is a roller support at point B. At this end we have 4 kips load and at this point we have a moment 6 kips into feet and this is also 6 skips into feet that is clockwise. So we have to determine the equation of elastic curve and we will solve this question by using Michaelis method. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if you remove this uh, roller support at point B, so you will be having a reaction force Let this is RB and if you remove pin support at point A so you will be having a reaction force in horizontal direction which is RAX and there will be a vertical reaction which will be RAY. We have taken RAY as downward so you can take it upward as well and from then its answer you will define that whether you have taken the corrected direction or not. So you will find this RAX and R A Y and R B by using equation of equilibrium. So first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero, and taking the this uh, direction, this direction is positive. So you can see only horizontal force is R A X and there is no other force. So we, I will write R A X is equal to zero. So it means there the reaction horizontal reaction force is zero now we will find another rb by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point a the first moment is this one which is six skips that is clockwise so it will be negative next is this one which is also clockwise it will be negative and the third moment which will be 4 into perpendicular distance is this one which is 24 and this is also clockwise so it will be also negative and the last moment which is produced by RB into perpendicular distance is 24 and this is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive but the sum of all moments about point A will be 0. So I will write minus 6 minus 6 minus 4 into 24 plus 24 into RB is equal to 0. So minus 12 and minus 96 plus 24 RB is equal to 0. So 24 RB will be equal to 108. And when you calculate divide 24 on both sides so you will get RB will be equal to 4.5 and the unit will be k. Now you can find Ra as well. So for that I will write another equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive. So one force which is Ray that is downward. So I will write minus Ray minus 4 kips that is downward and plus Rb which is 4.5 is equal to 0. So from here minus RAY plus 0 0.5 is equal to 0. So RAY will be equal to 0 0.5 kips. So our answer is RAY is 0 0.5 kips that is positive and we have taken it as negative in downward direction. So it means that our direction which we have chosen downward is correct one. Now you have R A R B and R A Y so you can move toward finding the equation of um, e elastic curve. So for that uh, we know that equation of elastic curve can be obtained by using this equation E I into D square V over D X square where X is the length x start from here you can see and v is deflection at any length of x so this is the equation so we are we will find this moment 
so what we will do is we will start from the left hand side and we will move toward right hand side and by using Macaulay's method we will neglect the terms on the right side which is 4 kips and RBY. Now you can see at point A we have a point load so point load case is this one loading is this one and here you can see if P is applied at a distance of A so moment equation will be this one since if a is equal to 0 so moment function will be equal to p into x my x power 1 okay and this p is upward so it the moment equation is positive so here ray is downward so i will write minus ray is 0 0.5 kips into x minus a so a is equal to 0 over here because R A Y act at point A. So what we will do, we will write x minus 0 power 1. Now we have a moment, this moment which is 6 skips into feet. So moment case is this one and function for the moment is this. Clear? And here this is A, a will be equal to 8 feet because this moment acts at a distance of 8 feet from the origin. So I will write and the moment is downward so this is positive equation so I will write m0 is 6 into x minus 8 and its power is shown as 0. The other moment is this one which is 6 skips so same 6 into x minus now total distance for a will be equal to 16. So this is the total distance because moment acts at a distance of 16 from the origin 16 feet so i will write x minus 16 power 0 and we will neglect r b and 4 kips as well okay so this is your moment equation and let this is equation number a so what we will that put value of m in equation a you will get e i into d square v over d x square is equal to minus 0 0.5 times x plus 6 into x minus 8 power 0 plus 6 into x minus 16 power 0. So what we will do is that integrate this equation you will get e i into d v over d x is equal to minus 0 0.5 x square over 2 plus 6 into x minus 8 power 1 divided by 1 which is 6 and 6 into x minus 16 power 1 divided by 1. Let and there will be a constant of integration c1 let this is your equation number one now integrate equation number one again so you will get e i into v e i into v which is deflection is equal to uh, minus 0 0.5 x cube over 2 multiplied by 3 6 plus 6 into x minus 8 power 1 power 2 divided by 2 plus 6 into x minus 16 power 2 divided by 2 plus c1 x plus c2 if you further simplify it you will get e i into v is equal to minus uh, we can also write it as 0 0.25 divided by 3 if you divide it both uh, in numerator and denominator by 2 so you will get this plus 3 into x minus 8 power square plus 3 into x minus 16 square plus c1 x plus c2 
let this is your equation number 2 now c1 and c2 are unknown constant of integration so by using boundary condition by using boundary conditions we will find c1 and c2 so what are the boundary conditions so i will write it so first boundary condition is that at x is equal to 0 we have deflection is equal to 0 so let me show you over here you can see here x is equal to 0 deflection will be equal to 0 because there is a pin support okay so put it in equation number 2 why because equation number 2 defines the deflection so when you put it in this equation so ei into 0 is equal to minus 0 0.25 by 3 into 0 cube plus 3 into 0 minus 8 power square plus 3 into 0 minus 16 power 2 plus c1 into 0 plus c2 so we will get ei into 0 will be 0 this term will be 0 now this term is 0 minus 8 is actually minus 8 inside the Macaulay bracket so any negative term inside the Macaulay bracket will be considered as 0 so this term will be also 0 similarly this term minus 16 will be inside the Macaulay bracket will be 0 plus c1 into 0 is 0 plus c2 so it means that c2 will be equal to 0 now we will find c1 and we will use another boundary condition and what is that so at x is equal to 24 feet we have deflection is equal to 0 so let me show you over here now you can see that at this point x is equal to 24 feet and we have deflection is equal to 0 because this there is a roller rolling support okay so what we will do is that again you have to put in equation number 2 so when you put it in equation number 2 so ei into v so v is equal to 0 so ei into 0 is equal to minus 0 0.25 by 3 into 24 power cube plus 3 into 24 minus 8 square plus 3 into 24 minus 16 square plus 24 c1 and c2 is equal to 0 so we will get this as a 0 is equal to minus 0 0.25 divided by 3 into 24 power 3 plus 3 into this will be 16 square plus 3 into 8 square plus 24 c1 and when you calculate all this using your calculator so you will get c1 will be equal to 8 now you have c1 and c2 so what you will do is that put value of c1 and c2 in equation number 2 to get the equation of elastic curve so ei into v is equal to minus 0 0.25 divided by 3 which is equal to 0 0.0833 x cube plus 3 into x minus 8 power square plus 3 into x minus 16 square plus c1 is 8 so 8x there and uh, when you the its unit will be its unit let me write the unit as well so the unit will be kips 
into cubic feet. So if you divide EI on both sides, so you will get V is equal to 1 over EI into minus 0 0.0833 x cube plus 3 into x minus 8 square plus 3 into x minus 16 square plus 8 x keeps into feet and this is the required equation of elastic curve for the beam and loading that shown above now some students ask that the unit of displacement if it is in feet so it should be feet so why the unit skips into feet so if you put the unit of e and i and they will cancel each other and at the end you will get in uh, answer in feet so this was all about this problem 12-43 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are learning from my videos as well those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video which i post if you have any question you are you are welcome to ask in comment section thank you for watching